F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews where friends request friends to watch The Soprano season two, episode eight, titled Full leather jacket mm. uh, title like that man got me thinking about some soldier type shit because of the movie full metal jacket full leather jacket i'm mm -hmm. gotta be a parallel there something so i don't know what kind of soldiering we gonna see man you know these these episodes they be getting wacky man but one thing that i have enjoyed is that we starting to see more of aj and his shenanigans. So whatever Sopranos bless me with, I'm feeling just fine with that. How you feeling over there, Bralick? Feeling great, man. Sopranos always brightens my day. And today we we, we in the thick of it. So, you know, we, when we talk about this title, and you saying soldiers, there's only one person I could think about, and that's Chris Montesanti. Is he gonna ride up and uh, present himself as the, as the soldier he's supposed to be? Cause you know, they had that conversation at the end. You either mm. in all the way or you not, you know, mm. you either, you know, go about your business over there. Mm. So, you know, I'm wondering if he's going to go all, obviously he walked back in the door, but, you know, he has his moments where he, he tries to uh, dive into the, to the entertainment business and we'll see if that uh, leads anywhere. And then on top of that, you know, we still got Richie out there. Yep. Livia. Yep. Junior. Janice. Yep. Junior. So, you know, oh, I'm just, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the Sopranos, man. I'm ready to see what we about to get into today, man. Hey, look, he ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. We is, mm -hmm. we passed mid-season, baby. So things about to keep on kicking up. We ain't gonna hold you any longer. We just gonna fly right in. Y'all already know to do the video. Go ahead and drop them likes. Make sure you comment and most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button, click the bell, get notified when we go live. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. Head <laughs> ass. Ah, I know that sound. That's sexy time. This kangarello got into Reed College. Sayonara. Can't you be happy for Hunter? Reed was her first choice. She died if she didn't get in. Your sister, on the other hand, gave herself a lot of options, hey, such as tonight. Bowdoin, Georgetown. You know that Georgetown is a total reach for me. Oh, please, they'd be mm. crazy not to want you. If I can get in there, that means I probably can get into Berkeley. Over my dead body. There are more Nobel Prize winners mm. in the San Francisco. He said, you ain't going to Cali. Nobel Prize for what? Pack and fudge? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll tell you what I'm not going to pay for, and that's Berkeley. I want to go to Harvard or West Point. Well, you may get to West see them Point. on television, but that's about it. Damn. <laughs> that's facts, though. He, he ain't cold. Lying. I mean, he's he keeping it 100. The hell going on here? Oh. I know, right? Oh, is right. Okay. Of Stop course. It, Chris. Chris and the I mean, goons. Bobby needs Chris. <laughs> He's shit. That man taking his shit? You feel what the fuck he's doing? Head in! This man is. Alright, that's bent shit. enough. Get the crowbar, pop the place. <laughs> Pussy bumping Sarah started off chipping safes like this? Until he stepped up for Johnny Soprano during the unrest of 83. Back then, mm -hmm. when he did something, he got recognized. Hey, your time comes, you either step up or you start looking for a new career. This so was really shit it, like. Uh, Yo, <laughs> they didn't have nasty. to do that sound effect. That shit sounded terrible. You know what's crazy, man? Y'all might not believe me. I'm not one for sex scenes, but I'll be praying for these two to smash on this fucking show, <laughs> bruh. Like, please. At least Look one. your wife, bro. At least once. At least once. She ain't lying. Go ahead, laugh. What are you going to do if she gets into Berkeley and not into Notre Dame or Georgetown? Hmm. 
You gonna pay. She's in the National Honor Society, for Christ's sake. You go. Grades, great SAT scores, it's not enough anymore. It's all who you know or how many buildings you give. So what do you want me to do, huh? Who you know. Network. It's about who you know, Tony. You big man, man. You big mob. You better grab somebody by the bow tie. Look at Richie, man. Looking like a boss. Don't try to hype this dude up. We want him dead. It's the two big dogs from Tony's crew. Yeah, no, for Christ's sake. I want to talk to you about Beansy Gator. You know, he may never walk again. Never hmm. say never. Say never. He's a shopping cart. From here on out. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's I've never heard them referred. That's fucked up. Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, handicap accessible. Yeah, maybe when I'm over there, I can fuck his wife. Come on, Richie. You're a fucking Yo. captain now. And I salute. So exert a little pressure. Hey, you're gonna put Beans to your ramp. Exactly. This coming I'll down. I'll put the ramp up to your ass. Drive a Lionel up in there. <laughs> I can't wait for this motherfucker to get <laughs> his mouth hilarious. closed, bruh. Did he say call this man a shopping cart? <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Hi. Hi. I uh, oh, haven't seen you in spinning class lately. Who's your sister? No, didn't she go to Georgetown? Georgetown mm. Law, Georgetown Law Review, Regional Secretary of the Georgetown. She's trying to network, trying to get them. Because you know my meadow applied to Georgetown. Oh. And I am hoping and praying to Jesus that she gets in. I was wondering if you would ask your sister to write meadow a letter of recommendation. Is that too forward? <laughs> Alaska. Thank you, Jeannie. You still got that box that we gave y'all? Does she not be picking up on that shit? Like, of course she do. She don't give a fuck. <laughs> she like, man, swinging my dick around. Richie. Oh shit. Could you excuse us for a moment, dear? Oh no. shit. What do you want? Why don't you fucking kill me, you cocksucker? Don't say that, cause he might. The fucking ramp. If you need help, I'll fucking help you. You understand? What are you about to do? But if you go crying to Tony Soprano one more time, hmm. if you open your mouth, I'm going to send your arms where your legs are. Damn. Damn, that Tony, boy. Tony, he threatened me. He can't do shit. I know. Liz, let me in. I got to see Adrian. She's not here. What the fuck, Adrian? I'm sorry, OK? How many times I got to call here? Just go away, Christopher. I hate you. I never want to speak to you again. Damn, the police. I hate Don't you. be like that, Adriana. I love you. I want to marry you. What? I mean it, Adriana. I love you. I want to marry you. Got your ring and everything. Don't listen to it. This man is for real. This man is a piece of shit. Adriana. I hear you sobbing in your bed at night. Ma. I'm about to get married, Ma. Oh, no. Come on, get on a knee, man. You love oh, movies. You ain't watch any rom coms or nothing? No, my God. Mmm. That shit beautiful, ain't it? Christopher. <laughs> I'm telling them about the tapes. Yeah, these are the real uh, Hollywood quality broadcast movies. None of that time coding bullshit. Gotta be. Are you in on this? 10,000 units. What's Johnny Sack say about that? Fuck New York. Hmm. Don't put hand prints on the finish. Oh, last of the Rugal Rob from the garden. Fucking Winghead came to see me. Bully. Said I gotta build a fucking ramp on Beansy's house. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, this was your idea. You know it was. <laughs> come on, come here. I got something for you. Ah, full metal, metal. Yeah. Full leather jacket. What's this? What's <laughs> this? It's the jacket. It's the jacket. The mayo. Oh, yeah. Still yeah. it. Cocksucker had the toughest reputation in Essex County, but he never came back after I got through with him. Mm. He never died of Alzheimer's. Oh, that's it. Oh! Huh? <laughs> Perfect. You look like Robert Evans over here. 
Thanks. <laughs> man, lean in like, you gonna say it? You gonna thank me? So Richie looked so proud. Bro, they always be looking proud of themselves. That should be mad <laughs> funny, like. That's lit yeah. though. He go there and get the little vegetables from the garden, like he grocery shopping. That shit legit. Uh oh, accepted. Ex. Oh, incomplete high school transcript. What's going on with that? Mm, and she tossed it. She's sabotaging. Wow. Come on, Mella. Why are you hiding it? To kick upstairs, the Tony Soprano will be an honor. He the man. Thought you said I was a man. He the man, I the man, who the man? Are we not men? <laughs> this dude is useless if all you do is shit the whole time. Shit. For real. But from this thing and that one, that comes out of your end, not mine. That's how it is in the beginning. <laughs> No more burritos. Wow. Me. He pulled his pants back up. Oh, I know he got some on his box. Look at this fucking place. Yeah, she walking with her eyes closed. Back to grab it. Uh, Carmelo. Can I help you? Miss Gator. We had to build a ramp. We had to put in the ramp. What ramp? Mm -hmm. For your husband. Richie April? We should be done by the time Beansy's home from the hospital, Mrs. Gator. Get out of here. I don't want anything to do with that man after what he did to Peter. Hmm. Mm. Let's get to it. Damn. Yo, man, people. Oh, shit. Water. It's fucking good to meet you, Richie. My cousin Louis Gismonti worked at the prison sign shop at East Jersey State. Oh, yeah, Lou. <sighs> this could be problematic. Very. Christopher Montesante, huh? Hey, you know, listen, that. The attitude on that camel nose fuck. He ever lays his hand on my niece again, I'm gonna tear him apart piece by piece. Camel nose? <laughs> Man, you can't make that shit up. The fuck are you talking about? I just did. <laughs> you ever notice he's the only motherfucker who can smoke a cigarette in the rain with his hands tied behind his back? That nose is uh, like a natural canopy. <laughs> Yo, he said smoke a cigarette with his hands behind his back in the rain. I didn't bro. get it in. Hit me until a little that bit. That shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, he going crazy this episode. Richie. He is. If there's ever anything you can do for me, uh, let me know. Man, these fools. Like Chris said, he the man, I'm the man, who the man? Just got to be careful with these two. I was in the neighborhood. Downtown Newark. Yeah, they do. They're, I they're think willing I to do anything for Clout, Johnny. so. These two really do look alike. Or is this the same exact actress? Soprano from next door trap me and... It's gotta be the same actress, Gotta be the right? same, right? Unless she got Ain't a twin no sister. Carmella asked me, Joan, what are you frightened? What do you think they're gonna do? Put you in cement boots over a college application? <laughs> it's not that. It's a question of manners. What am I supposed to say? That I'm writing a letter for someone else, which I am. A wonderful young Dominican boy from the projects with a five. Hey, mm. Dominicanos. Come on now. You come over and sit with me and Aunt Ma Let Janice's friend sit at the foot. Well, I hope everyone's hungry for crown roast. Oh, let me no, 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 Ma, sit down, sit down, sit down. Janice, sit. I have everything under control. Janice wasn't getting up. Shit, <laughs> she was pouring Gosh, one. Shit, <laughs> really. <laughs> shit. All right, how's the jack? Where's my knife? I want to compliment you on your behavior out there. <laughs> hey, I want him where I can see. Good boy. That's what we give him a treat. Say family. <clears throat> there we go. See? That's how you train him. You got to give him compliments when he do good. That shit look open. What happened to this? <laughs> what you think? Hello? Carmela? Hi. It's Jeannie Cusimano. Can't send to what, Mom? It's nothing. Damn, oh. she about to go down there? No, she not. Bruh, she walking up right now. That's what this camera is. Oh, I'm about to say. Like, <laughs> Carmela Soprano here to see you. Yeah, Are you oof. kidding? Nope. I, she's nope. not in your daytime. You want me to handle it? She's about to get thrown out the window. Damn. She persisted. She brought is food. Look at her. Time? See? Always. Always. She's being nice. Come on in. <laughs> Always. Always. Regard pie with pineapples. That you wanted me to write a letter to Georgetown for, um, Fielder, is it? A uh, Meadow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fielder? 
Where the fuck do you even get that from? None of her kids even close to that. Carmela, but I can't do it. I don't think you understand. I said I want you to write the letter. I'm not going to tell you what to write. Oh my God, I left my mother in the car with that foot. Thanks for this. <laughs> wow. Carmela's a fucking mob boss. What you going to do? What you going to do, do genie sister? Fuck that. Shit. You should have at least said alone. Well, I asked him what time it was or something. Stupid. These motherfuckers. I asked him what time Think it was. we should go in? Hell no. Oh, my God. They're about to make this super awkward. And then this man probably going to take a shit. <laughs> take a shit right in front of Tony. Like. Friends of Christopher. We're at the executive car game. Yeah, I know. How you doing? That dancer, that's an A out there. I like to break my dick off in that ass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the youngins, you man. So hard. You feel me? You just gotta chill, man. Just so you know, Chris spoke to us about it. He wanted we should give you a taste from the safe. Jesus fucking Christ, you stupid little shitty twat. You ever hear a wire taps? <laughs> 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 Fuck you, man. Because you made me do all the talking. You this... always do that. You get all quiet, you leave me hanging in the motherfucking cocksucking wind. These fools. Just relax, just be yourselves. Well, I guess that is y'all, y'all fanboys. Mm -hmm. These guys, they won't shut up about this fucking ramp. All right, Richie, relax, shut out. It's a jacket. You're not wearing the jacket. <laughs> you want that man to wear that shit every day? What, you want back? I gave Tony a jacket. I took off Rocco de Mayo. Cocksucker had a reputation as being the toughest guy in Essex County. <laughs> it's the same story. I he said that yeah, shit I, line by line. But I wonder what's really the story behind that jacket. I feel like that shit is a symbol of trying to take down the toughest motherfucker. She also said that she reviewed Meadows' transcripts and she was not the fuck out by those teacher recommendations. She sat right down and wrote a terrific letter to Georgetown. You are a wonderful friend. Mwah. Did I tell you how impressed Joan was with Meadows' transcripts? Yes, you did. Yo. <laughs> Carmella put in the fear in Bruh. all these women. That's crazy. Furio! It's that fucking Zip Fury on somebody. The fuck? Let him in before he kicks the door down. You feel me? Furio's about to fucking... I was just going to ask about this dude thinking of the soldiers. Furio's the soldier. That's facts. <clears throat> Full leather jacket. Look, he got his black leather jacket on. Furio, right? We are for the money. Hmm. The money? The boss money. About that business. Just the money. Give me $1,000. <laughs> 1000 more? Christopher said 10%. $1,000. What you gonna do about it? You gonna 1v1 Furio? Hell no. He said that was my mailer's fee, man. That's the delivery fee. That shit is big as hell. Man. <laughs> what, his nose? No. No. Oh, I was about to say, don't <laughs> the disrespect. The finger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was about to say, don't do my mans like that. He's <laughs> infatuated with the rain. He was right. Them. He set me straight, that shit he said to me. Hmm. No more distractions. Focus. He said Tony no was drugs. right. I am the prize. Ooh, no drugs? Where are you going clean? back on track, Adrian. I don't believe it. Okay. I'm rededicating myself right down the line. Please. What a surprise. What brings you this way? How are you today, dear? Mwah. Wanted to make sure Tony's wearing that jacket. Hmm. This is Carmela. Sorry. But my husband has come to get the extra TV set from the basement. He said I could have. Uh, Liliana, the remote is down there somewhere, too. It's on the shelves. Mmm, oh. the jacket. <laughs> Thank you for TV. The jacket. Yo, Jeez. Full leather jacket. His feelings is hurt. Damn, I feel bad because now I feel like Richie actually kind of trying. Like, 
He is es- trying. Especially with the conversation with Janice when he kind of seemed like he didn't want to. Yeah. He's always here. Damn. He's focused now, that's why. Yeah, I need to focus too. Sean, for Christ's sake, call up to reality. We are nowhere. Buying fish, punching safes. What is that? And for what? We're just getting started. That's what you do. And then they're gonna go work for Richie. I knew it. I don't know, and don't change the subject. It's my room. There were clothes a foot deep on the floor. You had half the bath towels Damn. in there. Don't exaggerate. And as hmm. long as you live in my house, there are going to be limits. Well, I won't be here for long. I'm 18 years old. I'm going to be going to college soon. I can take care of myself, so just bug out, okay? <laughs> bug out? Slap. <laughs> You're going to be going off all on your own to a wonderful college. What right do I have to interfere? <laughs> 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 Shout out to Berkeley. Little does he know. I'm the reason why you got in. Tuesday, 3 o'clock. So we got to talk about something. <laughs> he happy as hell today. <clears throat> okay, spin the wheel. So the thing is, it, it belonged to a friend of hers from school, and it came into my possession because of a debt incurred to me by the kid's father, and this is the way he elected to make payment. <laughs> you gave her her friend's car. The yes. nice, safe car. Explain to him why this was excellent. ridiculous. What's bothering you? I must have known that she'd know that it was this fucking kid Eric's car and uh, how I got it. You know, and she'd freak out. Then why'd you give it to her? I don't know. Hmm. hmm. For all these years, I've been shielding her and protecting her from certain truths. Meadow's going to be going away to college next year. Yeah, that's why she needs the car. Leaving the nest. Not those fucking ducks again. Maybe <laughs> I'm preparing her. Hey, you brought up the ducks on your own the other day. I give my little daughter a car to rub her face in shit. And you're telling me I did something noble? We're getting to something here. He <laughs> wanted to be a bad guy so bad. What? You feel you're cured? All right. I'll sit here. But I got nothing else to say. You sit there for an hour and not say nothing? I don't believe that. Tony don't never not talk. His son gonna get him. Yo, Christopher, mm. what's up? Check hey, what's up, man? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Dang, this, this can't be real this... right now. Damn, God his ass. Bro, I couldn't even react for a second because I'm just this, like waiting for a motherfucker to wake up. Like this gotta be it. This but man this is, is running real. backwards, just busting the gun. This can't Bro, be. Real. This shit just happened. I, my fucking. <sighs> I don't even. I knew it, and then he goes straight to Richie. I fucking called it, man. What happened to Christopher Montesanti? Yeah, somebody blew him off. Yeah, it was us, me and Sean. I fucking knew it. I. What? You. We did it for you as a favor. Exist. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Stupid. You don't like him. So what? You gotta help me, man. I'll help you. I'll fucking help you. You gotta hide me. I'm with you now. Who I'm told you to do you. that? Mm. I'm so glad this happened. No, I'm. <sighs> I'm always glad when King of Predictions hits the fucking target, baby. What you mean? How can this happen? How could this happen? This is crazy. This is wild. I. <sighs> they not gonna end it like that. King of Predictions is back, baby. Oh. I'm back, baby. I don't think I made a soprano prediction yet. <sighs> Whew. All right. There you have it. Full leather jacket. Soprano season two, episode eight in the books. Banger. Banger. From start to finish. Bruh. I had a really good time with this one. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Even without the ending, I was already on this episode's ass. So that shit was just. Yeah. They just gave me the little extra just, just to give it. How you feeling over there, bro? Like, I'm in disbelief right now. I can't believe that actually really fucking happened. 
I pretty much. I guess that's the way just life is, man. Whenever you want to turn around and, and, and do good and do better, life has a, a way of telling you to go fuck off. Chris, man, seemed like he was turning everything around. What's going on? I don't know, man. This no, nah, I, I agree with you, man. This episode was a uh, was a good one. Loved it. Uh, couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, but uh. Obviously, the big surprise was the was the ending there, huh? It's a lot to take in. <laughs> yeah, this episode was dope, man. Richie was definitely front and center for this one, man. That man was cracking joke after joke after joke after joke. On point with that shit. Like, on point. And then... It was just crazy, though, because... We spoke about Richie last episode, I think it was, or the episode before that, Mm -hmm. and we were kind of talking about, you actually mentioned, like, how when Janice kind of brought up to to him in the car about, you know, not letting Tony push him around, blah, 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 you know, kind of, he he, kind of seemed, you know, like, standoffish about that shit, like, you know, I'm just trying to do me, play my part, Um, and this episode, I kind of feel like... It was proven that, like, you know, he just, he just living. He's just living his life, man. He's chilling with Janice, making that work. They getting the house ready for Livia. Um, He comes around and eats with the family and shit like that, brings Tony gifts. He is still a little bit hard-headed to work with on the business side, but I probably, I'll probably chalk that up to age and shit like that. The man's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. He did, what, like a 10-piece or a 20-piece, and now he's back home. So it's like... I, you know, I'm, it's, it's this. I'm. I actually felt bad for Richie this episode, especially when he seen that leather jacket, because it really looked like it hurt his ass, man. Like, like a fucking bullet to the heart, the silver bullet by Kenny to the stern, like. And Carmela didn't know, so that that just sucks because not only does that suck like for Richie and how he felt about the whole thing, but I feel like that can also. Tony can use that as like a connection as to why Chris was hit. You know what I'm saying? Like if he wanted to, if he wanted to really reach there and hurt his back a little bit, he could be like, damn, Richie really trying to fucking retaliate over this damn leather jacket. Cause he really don't like Chris. He been said that he touched my niece again, this game over. So I don't know, man, this, 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 this episode created, created some interesting vibes. With, with the crew here from this whole situation. Sorry, yes. Richie. It's going to turn everything upside down now mm-hmm. because Tony's going to be just looking. He's going to look for blood. And I'm pretty sure he's going to point his uh, all his anger towards Richie, which is going to be unfortunate because, like you said, this episode kind of indicates that he's a little bit more like just trying to do the, the right thing. And you know, you know, be on his good side. When he gave him that jacket, it was something. Just, it was a sign of, uh, I don't know, I guess a good faith, and just kind of like him telling that story of how he got the jacket. Like, yeah, it was the toughest, baddest motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, That's I kind of want to give it to you as of like a symbol. And then turns around and gives the jacket to the <laughs> to the Polish man. But yeah, man, I don't I don't know how he's gonna take the take that. Um, to, you know how he's gonna take the hit on Chris is he gonna just full on retaliate or is he going to kind of think think it over you know what I'm saying because obviously he knows who's the other person involved in this shoot obviously because you yep. know you got Tweedle, Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Lee <laughs> so you know they always hang it together so you already know who's the other shooter mm-hmm. um, but I'm just wondering if him going to Richie's house and that's gonna complicate things in the in the long run. But man, what a what a what a turn of events from these two fucking knuckleheads. Yeah. That we've been calling fucking Stunats <laughs> from the very fucking beginning and they turn around and try to body cri- <sighs> Of all people, right? I don't get it. Like of he's all the one people. who's literally trying to bring you in into the game and you gonna 
I don't, I don't, I don't get the bro, thought process. That's what I said though. I literally called this shit, bro. Chris told him. He said, "What you mean, Tony's the man? You said I'm the man. He's the man. I'm the man. Who's the man?" And then they showed the scene with Richie, and they like, "Oh, Richie!" Like, cause they know who the old heads are. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They know who the old heads are. They know who they're supposed to look up to. Yep. So he said what he said. They overheard that shit. They they talking about fuck Chris because he not there at the bar with them because he trying to go straighten out his life. So they done took that to the next level, extreme, immediately. So I can't, bro. I can't. For one, I can't wait for uh, Corey Matthews to get his, like, oh, yeah. cause he fucking. Honestly, Richie probably should have killed his ass, cause, I, cause maybe Tony won't even be able to make the connection without this dude. They probably gonna go snatch him up, and he ain't built for that type of life. He ain't he ain't built to get his ass whooped. So he gonna probably spill the beans, thinking that it's gonna save his life. He probably gonna make it up like, oh, Richie set, put us on him because he beats Adriana type shit, like. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And yeah, you feel me? Yeah. That might cause, yeah. that might be what causes the friction between fucking Tony and Richie. And then Richie's already mad about the jacket. So it's just like, and it's crazy, bro. It's, oh my God, this show is so far. Cause I honestly thought that, I thought the jacket was symbolism to like, I took down the toughest motherfucker. So I'm gonna give it to Tony. Cause eventually I'm gonna take this motherfucker down. But it really felt like he was hurt by that shit. So, man. It was a genuine gift. It, it was, was a, a genuine a, gift. It was a real gift, like yo, I'm. And yeah, that's gonna you know cause, yep, that's gonna cause friction. <laughs> Telling you, they gonna catch up with that boy. He gonna lie his ass off and say Richie put them up to that shit, man. I, yeah, I agree. With you. That might be the that might be the case, but. <sighs> that's so. The end of this episode is just wild, crazy. Um, nah, just to kind of just to kind of dig in on the rest of the episode. Obviously, mm -hmm. another highlight. Was Carmella, man. Carmella yep. was unexpectedly my bosses. Yes, exactly. Um, just throwing her weight around. She knows. She knows who her husband is. She knows what type of business they in. Mm -hmm. So she could just go around and not even threaten anybody. Just you know, tell them nicely. I Bring need them you to food. Get this done. She yeah, can come she threaten me any day, motherfucker. Come <laughs> bring me whatever dish. Bring me all that food that you For need. Real. She always, always bringing food around to, to, to you know, to persuade people. But it, it, just the way she was just throwing around her, 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 uh, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, she, she's a. Her clit. She's she a got the big clit energy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because we always say swinging dicks around for guys. Like, Fact. you might as well, Fact. hey, she's swinging the clit around. The big clit energy, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> Smack you in the face with that shit. And you see the way it was returned, too, right? She she uh, she brought the tray back squeaky clean. Clean. Knowing damn well she probably threw that shit away the way Carmella did in that one episode, man. I was just about to ask her. You think she actually really ate that shit? Nah. Nah, one she bite. She probably didn't even smell it. Probably didn't even offer it to the people in the office like it was just like let me throw this shit out <sighs> carmella man i mean so what's up though you think uh you think she got in officially i guess we ain't gonna find out till maybe next episode or so of course she did she did right because she already do got the grades like they said like mm -hmm. she just it's just about who you know that network exactly i definitely think she got in for the simple fact the way she um genie, genie. yeah genie uh, the way she came in and was boasting about it, like, oh, she was raving, and you know, so I feel like mm -hmm. she put in that extra juice, you know what I'm saying? Just because she know who, the, who she fucking with, and then she don't get yeah. it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? She might visit yeah. me again and bring me in some more food. <laughs> like, hey, so. I love that, though, because that's, that's, because when, when she did say that, though, like, it's about who you know, I was thinking that same shit, like, bro, you, Tony. Tony's mom, Bob Ball's Don Dada. Like, you, y'all know people important. Y'all might not know those motherfuckers, but you, they know who y'all are. So go scare some people. So, yeah, I, I definitely, she, and she's real modest and humble with it. Threatening you? I brought you yeah. some regot with pineapple, like, mm -hmm. and transcripts. Like, what do you mean? Exactly. Like, so yeah, Carmella, 
but I love Carmelo at all times. She she hasn't let me down yet. So hopefully she can maintain that for what seven seasons? Sopranos six. I'm not seven. sure, but yeah, I love her as well, man. She's a great character. Yeah, they're really good this episode. Everybody, this was like a really honestly like a lighthearted episode until we got to the end there. Like to be honest, it was. like even Beansy got a fucking ramp installed well half installed nah, but still exactly <laughs> it was getting done until that leather jacket now probably never gonna get done but still everything was lighthearted. people was coming to dinner janice and tony didn't get into an argument That's nothing true. like tony so, got complimented by by his you, wife that you too, feel me that, like that really happens <laughs> chris talking yeah. about he focusing he getting married no That's drugs the- that That's was the, the favorite thing. thing I heard today. No drugs. Yeah. That was the biggest thing. And then to come around, to, to have that end happen, it's just so fucked up, man. It is. It makes me wonder what his trajectory is going to be like. Is he going to want to remain focused now, or is he going to be like, fuck, fuck everything? This is what, this is what, I don't even know. I don't know how he's going to feel, to be honest. <laughs> like, I can't even assume right now. Well, I put just it hope he survives this. You know what I'm saying? That man was shot least four times it seems like bruh so. honestly i don't even know i ain't gonna let nah i ain't gonna let that affect me i ain't gonna let that comment bother me because to me chris is a character that's gonna last at least till the end like if he gotta die it's the season before last um so i ain't gonna let that comment bother me he he all right he'll survive this <laughs> <laughs> if Keem McGregor survives, fucking Chris Montesanti better survive. Because I will fucking punch the laptop next episode if he ain't in it. Like, <laughs> hey, Let me tell you, that shit ain't making it after that. That motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker already got one foot in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, man. I fuck with Chris. He got his ways, but I fuck with that man. So if he dies season two yeah, before I Richie think. too, what the hell? I'm going to be fucking hurt, son. Yeah, it's crazy that this is happening. Well, you know, our predictions was that Richie was going to be in this situation. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, this is it's a crazy turn of events. I was not expecting this at all. When they had that conversation in the bar, I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're going to just say, fuck this life and move on to, like he said, I'm, you know, we got, we got degrees and I've been to college and all that. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're going to say, fuck this life and go do them. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the plan was. <laughs> there was no plan. The, what was the plan? The kid there was no. And then to, what, become bosses? It they thought that, like that Richie would protect. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Who's the man? I'm the man. He the man. Who, who's the man? Man, I love Chris we for saying man. that shit, man. I love Chris for saying that shit. That is crazy. Yeah, it's I a feel it though. situation. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And I'm, I'm with you. Well, I'm not with you. I didn't think they was going to give up the life, per se, but I thought... I thought the escalation was going to be slower than what it was. I thought they were going to go to Richie. They were going to be like, yo, we want to work for you. Tony gives us bones. And Richie was going to be like, because, you know, because I still think Richie wants to get at Tony. Like, I do. Like, I feel like he is trying to be better and just, like, live as a mobster. But I still, like, there's got to be some animosity, especially with the the jacket. Like, there's definitely some animosity now. But I thought it was just going to be a slower trickle of, like, him using them as inside men basically as moles and mm. shit like that but okay. that shit literally just zero to a hundred like we at the titty bar and now we trying to fucking shoot chris's nose off like so that shit i was speechless i, I bro I, I didn't want to react because i'm I like know. if it's a dream i'm gonna be twice as mad <laughs> like if, I, if this, like the way with tony fucking went through the windshield i'm like I know. and I'm then boom here. dream I'm over here reacting. <laughs> I peak at Fort Moore. He's just like nothing. And Brad. I'm just like, do you not see what's on the screen right now? It's basically what happened to me in AOT happened to you here. Bro, like, my heart like, started racing, son. <laughs> my shit started racing, and I was just like, let me just wait. Like, this <laughs> may be a dream. For some reason, Chris is now having wild dreams. Like, maybe season three, he sees Dr. Melfi or some shit. Like, maybe there's some group therapy session or something. Like, don't react. Like, bro, I was, yeah, man. Because Chris, like I said, he's been growing on me a lot. Like, I like this dude, man. He's a, he's a dope character. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, and we literally had 
D-Girl was like all about him. So it's, I'm already coming off the Chris high and then bam. So I was like, oh shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this episode is cracked, son. Loved it. How you feeling over there? You got any final thoughts? Want to score it? My final thoughts is where the, where the hell do we go from here? Like you said in the beginning of the intro, we passed the midway mark. You know what I'm saying? So we we in it now. We in the thick of it. So I'm just curious of how it's really gonna how how things are gonna turn out this season. Because now with this. Mm-hmm. I feel like things are really about to turn up, so I'm excited. I'm excited for what they, what, what season two has for us, man. The season so far has been, so far been better than the than the first season, in my opinion. Yeah, this has been <laughs> crazy. It's been, like, yeah, yeah like it, it. This, especially after this one, they they playing around. They playing around, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I don't got any final thoughts. I think. Uh, Shout out to Silvio and Pauly. I like seeing them <laughs> boys on screen always, forever. Always. And they new rank as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving out orders and shit. Telling the captain to give out orders. Like, bro, give out orders, man. Tell your nephews to do it. But yeah, man, feeling good, man. What you want to score it? What's the score? What's the score? I give it a nine, man. <laughs> Overall, I enjoyed the, enjoyed the episode. Love, love Carmela, Richie. Richie was a great... Uh, great person in this episode like you said the the jokes canopy making smoke <laughs> cigarette both hands behind his back while it's raining it's... that was cold that was top tier right there. No i hope joke. i remember that I've the next time i fry somebody that. with a big me neither For real, I've next time i fry someone nose with a big joke. nose i hope i remember that shit i hope that i pull was... that shit out the memory bank because bam it's coming for you <laughs> <laughs> top tier man top tier loved it Loved it too. I'm gonna give it a nine five, man, because this shit was damn near perfect. There was like some small things in there that I was wanting to see, like I, you know, pussy and stuff like that. Yeah. But they always tie that stuff back in. Like we, mm-hmm. we know how it goes, man. The Sopranos and their continuity, it's a little bit more delicate than others. It's not just laid out handheld for you. But this episode was damn near perfect for me. So nine five easily. Loved it. Loved it. Cannot wait to get into the next couple what is it 13 again this season is it 13 every season I, you know i've never looked so i don't yeah know. you're right you're right <laughs> so if it is 13 then a couple more episodes left yeah i'm really interested in, in where they're gonna go with this man is this gonna create a war is, is richie gonna come to tony and just be like hey bro it wasn't me but fuck you for that jacket i don't know <laughs> tension is high and it's crazy because tony was sitting with dr melfi talk about Everything good, you know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to really talk about. So, got plenty on, plenty yep. on we, we talk about next session. Y'all already know, man. That's nines across the board from your two hosts. If y'all still here, we appreciate y'all. Y'all keep us moving and grooving. If y'all can't tell, we, we really enjoy Sopranos on this channel. This shit is the best. But y'all know what to do with the videos. Don't forget to like. Make sure you comment down below. Yep. And if you enjoyed the content and made it this far, man, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. Double R out. Peace. Peace.